Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be trying to smoke an Iquos heat stick like a cigarette. Will this work? I definitely do think it'll work in all honesty, but do I think it's going to be good? No. By no means do I think it's going to be any good, but... I bought the wrong pack of Iquos heat sticks. I bought an Iquos Illumina 1 a while back, and this pack of heat sticks is only for the Iquos 3 Duo and earlier devices. So I have no use for this pack of heat sticks right here. And I did not realize that it was only for the Iquos 3 Duo and earlier devices until I'd already paid for it. And they don't do refunds for tobacco products in Japan. Uh, so as such, I'm stuck with this pack of heat sticks right here. Uh, so I figured, hey, why not make the best of a bad situation and go ahead and try to smoke one of, well, the Iquos heat sticks in today's video. Now taking a look at the heat stick I have in my hand right here, we can just see it just says Marlboro right there and everything like that kind of thing. And then we have a little bit of a filter right here, but unlike the heat sticks they use for the Iquos Illumina, there is no like little tip on the end or anything like that kind of thing. It's just actual tobacco. Like with the Iquos Illumina, you can take off that little tip and then you just see the tobacco on the inside and everything like that kind of thing. But with this one, on the other hand, it's just pure tobacco right here and everything like that. So I think it's going to be super easy to get lit up and I don't think I'm going to have any issues at all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket and let's go ahead and see if this, an Iquos heat stick, will actually smoke or not and see how bad of an experience this actually is in all honesty. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this up. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. And right off the bat, I forgot to mention what heat sticks I'm using in today's video. I'm using the Marlboro Black Menthol heat sticks from Japan, you know what I'm saying? And right off the bat, I'll be frank, it's very menthol -y. And honestly, it tastes like a Marlboro Black from the United States. No surprise there, you know what I'm saying? It's a Marlboro Black kind of thing. It really does taste like a Marlboro Black menthol. Very, very, very just super intense, sweet, spearminty menthol taste right off the bat. And honestly, not so bad. Now, there is like, I feel like a slight tinge not really like a metal taste or something like that, but there's definitely an off taste in there that you wouldn't get from a normal cigarette. There's definitely an off taste in there, but in all honesty, it's not that bad kind of thing. You can actually smoke this, but man, oh man, let me tell y'all what, the ash is so damn flaky, it's insane. It makes sense, this paper is super thick. It's not meant to be smoked. So of course it's going to be really, really, really flaky ash. But man, oh man, I certainly was not expecting it to be <laughs> this flaky because I'm getting the ash all over my pants right now and everything like that kind of thing. Man, oh man, I really was not expecting that. But I mean, like in all honesty, this is not, this is not so bad kind of thing. This is not so bad. Oh, and I'm actually feeling some nicotine from it too. I am actually feeling a very light buzz right now. Wow, I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm actually kind of impressed how well it's working. This is not a bad experience at all, honestly. It's actually just like smoking just a cigarette rolled with really thick paper. That's what it's like. And I think that's actually the taste I'm getting in my mouth. I think I'm actually getting just sort of a papery taste in my mouth kind of thing. And I think that's actually the taste I'm getting. Yeah, no, not bad at all, in all honesty. Not bad at all. Wow, this is working a lot better than I expected. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. <sighs> now, of course... I don't encourage any of y'all to do this. I don't condone doing this. Don't do this. This is a stupid thing to do kind of thing. Don't do this at home. But for what this is, this is not really all that bad of an experience. And I am pretty sure that I just tried to ash it and it really does not want to ash. Makes sense. This, uh, this tobacco is definitely not meant to be used in this way. So it makes sense why it's not really wanting to be ashed. But I'm going to go ahead and just try to ash it. And I think the embers are all gonna fall out, and I was right. And actually, that was all there was to it. That was actually all there was to it. There was very, very, very little tobacco on the inside. Makes sense. You don't really need a lot of tobacco for a heat not burn device. Just getting all the ash off of my pants and everything like that kind of thing. Um, but man, wow, I'm actually uh, kind of impressed right now. I ain't gonna lie, I'm actually kind of impressed right now. 
it actually worked. It didn't work for very long. There's not a lot of tobacco inside these heat sticks right here, but it actually did work. I actually got a really intense, sweet spearmint menthol taste coming through, and I actually am feeling a little bit buzzed right now. I'm actually really impressed. I am actually re really, really, really impressed right now. This really was not all that bad of an experience at all. It was just like smoking a cigarette rolled with really thick paper. I've rolled cigarettes with thicker paper, and I've, I've smoked worse cigarettes before that were rolled with thicker paper. This really was not all that bad. You can actually smoke an Iquos heat stick. Wow. And it makes sense now. It makes it honestly makes sense now because I, I was thinking about this. I was like, why is there like a little tip on the end of like the Icos Illumina heat sticks? And I think number one, the reason is because they don't want you to have to be able to, they don't want you to have to clean the device. And I guess with these uh, tobacco can get on the inside of your device and everything like that kind of thing. So you've got to clean it afterwards and everything like that kind of thing. Um, but I feel like another reason why they started putting that little tip on the end and everything like that is so you can't do what I'm doing in today's video without actually like breaking the stick and everything like that kind of thing. I think that's probably why that makes sense in my head at least. Either way though, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm glad. I feel like now I've gotten my money's worth of these heat sticks right here. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And uh, yeah, no, overall, what are my final thoughts on this experience? Not a, not, not a good experience. I would not recommend any of y'all try this. I'm gonna do this once more for a screenshot. I forgot to get a screenshot, so I'm gonna do this once more for a screenshot. Um, but I, after that, I don't think I'd do this ever again. After that, I don't think I'd do this ever again, but uh, certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure, and I ain't gonna lie. I do think I'm feeling a little bit more buzzed than I was thinking I was feeling, because uh, in all honesty, the more I think about it, the more buzzed I'm feeling. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video though, where I smoked an Iquos heat stick like a cigarette. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Never a great one. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying.